students often make a trip to the ER for missing files that they know they've had, but they just can't seem to locate. More often than not, what's happened is students have moved the files from their original location and they're actually still there. So this is to give students some search tips on how to find those missing files on their own without coming to the ER. On your start button, just above that, you'll see the search field. And in the search field, you wanna be as specific as possible when you're looking for a document or even a program or application. One of the things that students come to the ER for are missing OneNote files. And so when I type OneNote into the search field, it automatically brings up several things associated with OneNote. There's one program associated with OneNote on the computer, but what students are really looking for is where is that missing notebook or that missing notebook page or something like that. So if I just type in OneNote, that's very general. If you have something that you've named your OneNote, then you can look it up. So let me give you another example of maybe a document that might be misplaced. Recently, I created a document and saved it someplace, and it's not where I thought it was. So I'm gonna type the title where I, of what I saved the document as and see if I can find the document that I'm looking for. So I just start typing the word script. I knew I had saved it as script, search, and research, and automatically it comes up to the one I'm looking for. It doesn't always happen. You may have to search through several, but this one happens to be the one that I'm looking for. So I'm going to open it which is great, but I still don't know where this is located. In order to find out that information, go to File, Save As, and because you're telling the computer to save it in a different location, it's popping up with its current location. So currently, this document is located in my libraries under Documents. I save a lot of things to downloads that I'm using temporarily throughout the year, so I'm gonna save this in Downloads, and then I'm gonna hit Save. Now, because I actually already have it saved here, it's going to ask me if I want to replace it because it's already there. And I'm going to cancel out of that because I don't want to. But this is a good tip for students to be able to find their own missing files without having to come to the ER very quick and something that they can do on their own to be empowered in their own learning.